Hey guys, Def Spider here. I know it's been a while since my last video, um, but we got some good news for you today. The dev announced officially on Discord that the new version 5.0 update for the infected is coming out on Monday, November 23rd. All right. So in this update, we're gonna have quite a few changes. It seems like uh, some new ore, new ways to get ore, new map. So, but that said, we'll go straight into it. I know we've all been looking forward to it. So real quick, let me get through some of this jargon on the, the updates page. So new map. Although the map has the same looks in terms of graphics and textures, there are some notable changes. New layout. Ground textures now have coded logic to identify what ores can be extracted in certain locations. So pretty much you're going to get the mineral extractor guys and place it in certain places across the map to get different types of ore. We can't just knock like beat a rock up and get like copper and iron. Uh, rocks actually don't drop ore anymore. All right, so it can only be extracted in certain locations. Players will want to most likely build small outpost bases where the mineral extractors are placed. No more aluminum nodes. Aluminum is now extracted with the mineral extractor. Stone boulders no longer drop ores, only stone. All ores are now extracted via the mineral extractor. New cliff meshes, and so when he says meshes, he's only re he's referring to the graphics, the way it looks. So cliffs have been added. Uh, a bald cypress tree added to the swamp. We went from military camps, we now have villages. There are three villages on the map, and each contain three to four blueprints. And there are also lootable items in the villages. So as you see here, we're coming up to the new map. So aluminum, copper, cobalt, and the different locations where you can find them to place your extractors. And so pretty much you'll find these locations like right here and here and here. It looks like it might be like a, like kind of like a clearing or something. But uh, so we'll place our extractors there, build a base there, whatever. Uh, maybe go in like a central spot, like uh, problem. Like right here on this pond would be good. Then you just run in either direction. Or you can just go see the map. Just build on this island. Why not? But uh, yeah, so as you can see, everything's going to be pretty far apart. I mean, to me, the map looks like it's going to be possibly bigger. I don't know how I feel about running through the crocodiles every day. But <laughs> maybe I'll just build here in the center. And we'll see. Alright, so there's the new map. Like I said, three villages, different locations for the Miller Extractor. Moving on down, he's given some... Uh, I've read through the notes already. He didn't say anything about these barbed wire fences or about the shingles on the house or the shutters uh, or some of the different looking posts. So I don't know if this is just teaser from the test mod or um, exactly what these are. But as you can see, these are like finished houses. Like there's a satellite dish, railings going down the stairs, uh, flat sloped roofs that look great. There's no indentions. I don't know, brick and siding and shutters and better looking beams so i don't know if he's just teasing with those and the bar bar fence or if these are actually going to be in the game and he's just not saying anything about it and like continuing down here's a barn like almost like a wood stone outing that looks like a metal shed <laughs> and then you get to like two metal silos now, these are the new cypress trees in the swamp in case y'all don't know what cypress trees are all right and then these are the new cliff meshes the cliff faces so in the areas where we couldn't actually swim out of the river um, these are the locations he was talking about and then this one he's like teasing I guess that curtains uh, water pipes radiators uh, pot stands for plants chairs bookshelf there's like a desk in the back corner so we'll see again none of this is mentioned as actually being in the game right now though all right, so the next note will be about the mineral, mineral extractor. Changes and additions to the extractor. You can acquire aluminum, copper, and cobalt, or only from mineral extraction points. Crafting recipe changed to no longer include copper and aluminum. Uh, this is referring to making the mineral extractor. It can run on biofuel now. And in earlier game, that's what you're going to want to do is use biofuel, which is made from rotten food. And you'll need the mineral extractor to get ore before you have an oil extractor. So it'll have to run off of rotten food. Um, if you place one in an extraction zone that is not made for the specifically mentioned ores and locations, it'll get coal and iron only. And then there's a toggle button to extract only stone. So I guess if you want to smelt stone into iron. So we'll have tons of iron, guys. Hopefully we get some iron weapons and stuff soon. 
All right, so new items and placeables. We have biofuel, crafting the workbench using perished food, useful to power up the mineral extractor early game. Cobalt ore can be extracted in specific map locations. Identified on the map, it can be converted into cobalt ingots. Cobalt ingots, melted from cobalt ore in the forge, used for crafting recipes. Cobalt shelf, obviously that's where we store our cobalt. Chest rack, this is where we can stack our chests. Like, like you see in the videos where people were spoofing it using foundations, you, there's now a way to actually do it in game without having to uh, trick the game. Uh, next thing that's a new item is the food prep table. Food such as stew mix can be crafted here. We also have wind turbines. Costly and produces only half the power of solar panels, but will generate day and night at a steady pace. Um, here's a screenshot of the cobalt ore, the cobalt ingot, and the biofuel. And then below that is the food prep table. It's got some seeds on it and a notepad. And it looks like the table that we already have. Then here's the storage chest rack for stacking them. Looks nice and clean. He's also changed up the way the chest look. Here the here's the wind turbine. I mean, you know, it looks like a wind turbine. <laughs> All right, so changes to the bed. He's added the ability to the add a spawn toggle to beds, so you can select what bed you want to spawn in, instead of just going to the same one over and over. So if we have like five bases across the map, you know you can choose which base you want to spawn at if you die. Changes in balancing. Change small stones smelted on a forge now only give iron fragments. Um, that's going to be the primary way to get iron ingots. Reduce the height of foliage in player start slash spawn locations to that no foliage clips through foundations. Can now alt right mouse click items out of storage. Can now alt right click or right mouse click items out of extractors. So you know where you could alt right click things into like a chest, you can now pull it out of everything. Vambies no longer drop Kevlar. Kevlar is now a craftable item. Three cloth, three plastic, 10 plant fiber. Tech blueprints now automatically get read and the tech is learned. No more needing to place the book in a tech slot. Technology blueprint list. All right, so the field technology. Solar panels, yeah, it's all the usual stuff. Fridge, solar panel, solar battery, loom, lamp, stove, oil extractor, chemistry table, advanced workbench, and the wind turbine. So wind turbine looks like it's the only new one on there that I see. Uh, he's changed and rebalanced the stats of food items. So th these are the old stats if anybody wants to pause the video and take a look. And then here are the new stats. Pretty much what's going on here is he's made it more efficient and actually given us a purpose to make like meat stew, fruit salad, and veggie salad. Whereas before the only purpose was to get your hit points and stamina capped out. And after that it was just kind of a waste. Except to save space in your fridge. Alright so storage container mesh changed. So this pretty much it just means it looks different on the inside and the outside. Again, mesh is just graphics. Um, he's also changed that the fridge now reads on slash off instead of power on slash off. So there's no more confusion. Either it's on or it's off. No more power on. You know, like, are you wondering if you hit the button, is it powered on or is it just powered on, you know? Uh, change solar panel max output raised from 25 to 40. So power gained is increased. Glass panes have been added to windows. Um, here's a screenshot of that. Alright, so windows now require glass to build. Circular saw recipe now requires cobalt. Oil extractor recipe now requires cobalt. Oil extractor is loosely expensive. It takes eight cobalt ingots. Solar panel recipe now requires four cobalt. Control panel requires two cobalt. Electrical parts recipe requires one cobalt field of view change from 80 to 100 degrees adjusted weapon positions because of field of view change. Uh, bug fixes changed or crafting leg armor would equip the leg armor and pants slot and pants would auto equip in the leg armor slot. When loading the game with a large flask of dirty water in a chest, the water would turn to clean. When food was cooking, stones were melting. I think there's supposed to be an ore in there. So when food was cooking, ore stones were melting. If you drag these items in your inventory and wait for the completion of the cook or smelt without releasing the drag, you would end up with a cook slash melted item. 
pretty much you get your duplicating. You're getting double double items. All right, so shooting arrow rotation adjusted. Arrows will land and hit their target slightly to the right of where players would aim. I never noticed that, but maybe I was just making up for it without paying attention. Um, if you press E to pick up a log and immediately click harvest after that, the log goes into your hand and firewood and sticks hit the floor. The same thing happens with watermelons, but that's all I tested so far. Pressing escape if the map was open would not close the map. All right, so those are the new updates, guys. That's the new changes and all the new things coming to the infected on Monday. I will have how-to videos out and showcase the new items and building stuff probably starting Monday night. Uh, sooner if I can get access to it, but we shall see. And um, yeah, that's going to be the changes that we have coming, guys. As you can see, some graphic updates, tons of changes as far as, I don't know, no, like I didn't see where the copper is being used. I guess it's maybe in the same places and he's just added cobalt on top of it. Because we do have copper and aluminum, so... Maybe he just added an extra resource to make it take longer to craft items. But guys, uh, that's it on the video for now. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to catch more how-to videos and playthroughs. And I will get back to you all as soon as the content drops. Thanks for watching.